Good morning, everybody. Elden here at Elden Excursions. We are back for round two in Six Flags Discovery Kingdom because yesterday I thought it was going on for the Viva La Fiesta. Uh, well, unfortunately, it's only for Saturday and Sundays. Correction. Uh, so, yeah, I came in yesterday, just did a quick walk through the park. Today, we're covering Viva La Fiesta. I want to try out some of the foods there. And then I'm going to quickly uh, end that one. It's probably like a short video. This will probably be a short video, I'm not sure. But then we're gonna head down to Santa Cruz. This will be, not a two part, but uh, the Santa Cruz video will be coming out later. So, but anyways guys, let's get in the park, enjoy some food, have a good time. And then, uh, yeah, we gotta get down to Santa Cruz because uh, there's a big celebration going on down there for the 100th anniversary. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go. Viva Fiesta, no, La via, Viva Fiesta. <laughs> viva Fiesta. By the way, it is Saturday, the day of this recording, and it is extremely busy in the park today. Uh, matter of fact, I had to park way at the very top this time. I have not seen it busy like this in a very long time, so... <laughs> oh boy, we're going to have some fun in the park, for sure. Hopefully, everything is open compared to uh, yesterday's episode. <laughs> Anybody have any idea what they're putting in here? They're doing them like here and then a couple up there and they have another one down here. I think they're putting in something for uh, EV parking, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm not sure. Or it could be something that detects how many spots are open in the parking lots. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. But that's a huge, huge uh, hole there for sure. The old Batman and Robin Stadium. No more for many, many years now. Oh, 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 oh. oh heck no. Oh. Man, looks like everything's got up and going today. Pretty nice. We'll go in there and check out Kong and the other uh, few rides that are closed yesterday, but. Yeah, here we go. This is nice. Alright, we're in the park. Now we can celebrate the fiesta. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Can't wait. Let's go. Alright, so first off, we gotta get our tasting card. And then we can go have our choices of all kinds of different foods here. I'm excited. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything all day today. Let's go. Oh my gosh, of course, today it's open. The day I'm eating at the Fiesta. We'll see if I can have some room to come by here later because I definitely want to check that out. Oh, they got a new peachy spring drink going on, the peach candy ring. That looks good. All right, we're here. It's open and it's going. Let's go eat. Alright, got my punch card. It was about $31. Not bad, so we're gonna go try out some different booths. Usually this one's open, but it uh, looks like this year it's not open. So we're gonna go try out some different ones in here, see what we can get into. First one, Empanada Street. We need some uh, empanadas. Alright, so I got one empanada. I thought it was me two, according to the picture. But not bad for, uh, I guess, $9.99 if I would have bought this individually. Alright. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Not really good at doing food reviews, but yeah, this is it. Woo! Ha! Ha ha ha! Alright, it was a little on the dry side, so I went ahead and got some hot sauces. Can't beat ch Cholua. Cholua. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's good. I like Cholua. Alright, I got the manganata. It's kind of frozen. <laughs> I thought it would make it fresh, but I guess they're all sitting in a freezer. Hmm. Interesting. And then I got this thing. It's called a uh, uh, Choripin? Choripin? Not sure, but it is uh, $15 for this. And then the uh, Manganata is $8.99. So, so far that's about $25 for three items if I were to get these individually. So, but yeah, we're going to try this out. This is a ch uh, Chipotle seasoned like a uh, meat. And then I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> But it looks good though. Try it out. 
All right, I'm not really good at food reviews, and I don't really do a lot of videos of me eating food, but uh, we're gonna try this. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it looks good. So let's try this out. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Oh, it's like a sausage. Okay, it's like a it's like a link sausage. It cut in half, and that's a chipotle seasoned. It's a little kick to it, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'll give it like a seven, seven point three out of ten. <laughs> but yeah, not bad. I'm digging it. <laughs> Not bad. All right, so I have three punches left, but I'm just not sure what to get. I thought they had tacos somewhere around here. I'm gonna do some looking around. I think there's some tacos around here. So according to the pictures, there's definitely tacos. Oh, and they also have face painting. You can do the cheek, full cheek, full face, not full cheek, <laughs> full cheek, full face, and or glitter add-ons for $3 more. Huh. That's pretty cool. Here you go. Oh, okay. Here is where the tacos are at. They're in this building in here. Okay. I thought I smelled some good meat. <laughs> Let's get in there and try some out. One hour later. Two hours later. Three hours later. Can we move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Still frozen. <laughs> Anyways, I got three tacos. This dish alone, without the uh, punch card, would be $19.99. But I used the rest of my punch card and it, they punched out all three uh, holes. So the rest, that's the rest of my t uh, food card. And then it comes with chips as well and some salsa. So I got some green salsa with it. And then, uh, but yeah, this is uh, car carnitas. And then all kinds of toppings. They had cheese, salsa, green different salsa, avocado, sour cream. Of course I had to add sour cream, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but overall it looks really good and cor corn and flour tortillas so you have a choice from tortillas as well but uh yeah not bad not bad let's try it out all right of course we got to add the chula sauce to the uh, tacos because we need a little kick <laughs> so we're gonna do that first and yeah i'm excited i'm excited for these tacos these actually look pretty good All right, let's get this uh, in the picture here <laughs> for uh, nostalgia reasons. Oh yeah, yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> oh yeah, these are good. Oh yeah. Now they did have a chili Milano burrito in there, but the wait time would have been 15 minutes. So I'm thinking about doing, just waiting a little bit, and uh, if the line gets short enough, I'll jump in and try out the chili Milano because I'm a huge chili Milano fan. I'm, I'm saying it wrong, I know. <laughs> chili Milano. Yeah, I can't roll my R's, but. <laughs> uh, there is bugs everywhere, oh my gosh. <laughs> but anyways, I'm a, I'm a fan, so. I might jump back in line and get that. I really want to try out that chicken place too, man. Uh, plus, I gotta leave here. I'm thinking about three o'clock. It's about two, two o five right now, and uh, leave here about three o'clock. Head down to Santa Cruz and then uh, cover the 100th anniversary down there for the uh, Giant Dipper. So, busy day, guys. Busy day. Cheers. <laughs> Found a little friend here while I'm eating. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, uh oh, my plate just blew away. Yeah, it's still kind of frozen. <laughs> Everything in the middle is still frozen. I don't know about this mic, mic, uh, manganata. Probably not get it again, but <clears throat> yeah. I was, I was hoping it'd be more like a drink, like the other ones I usually have, but yeah. They also have margaritas over here. Little cervezas and margaritas stand, but uh, 
I don't know guys, I'm really full after that margarita, so I don't think I'm gonna get the um, the burrito. So now we can come down here to the old uh, whale tanks and see dolphins. This is cool. Check it out guys. Oh nice. See some dolphins. I just want to come down here and check on Whitewater Rapids. And it looks like it's definitely still under, not under, but not in operation. Not sure if it'll be going on this uh, summer at all, but someone left a comment on my last video saying it looks like it's going to be down for the season, so hopefully not, because this is a big, big ride that they need for the summer. Well, that's gonna be it for the La Fiesta, Viva La Fiesta event. I wish I had a bigger stomach. I don't know how these other YouTubers can sit there and eat all this food. I really wanna try a bunch more stuff, but man, I am full. That manganata drink really messed me up. <laughs> it's, it's very thick, very sweet, and uh, yeah, not, not the best manganata I ever had, that's for sure. And I don't think it's worth the $10, just saying. But yeah, it looks like uh, Scrambler is going. And Boomerang is not going, so we'll go down here and check it on more of it and see what's going on. Hey, Mr. Squirrel! Mr. Squirrel! I just want to talk to you about something. I just want to talk to you about your, uh, your insurance. You're going nuts, man. It's getting a little high. Your insurance is getting... Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, it looks like the squirrel may have put down the Boomerang because it is not going again today. So, I don't even see the, uh... The train's on the track. The coaster on the track. <laughs> Man, that's uh, that's not good. Hopefully, we... hopefully this goes back again during the summer. But like I said, unfortunately, it is down. It looks like it's not going to be opening up for a little while. So we'll be back again to check up on it. That's right. They had the new artist Margar margarita flatbread. It's twenty one dollars. Twenty two dollars. Holy. Moly, okay, I think it's uh, here at the Safari Grill. That is expensive, I think, but... Man, it looks good, though. I don't know about $21. So yeah, yesterday I was here, and I didn't see these signs. They didn't have them out here. Not that I saw, at least. But yeah, they're advertising it. I wonder how it is. Sidewinder Safari's up and going. Good, because this is the newest ride in the park. It needs to be operating. Especially on a day like this, it is busy in the park. Well, it's a new day and a new meal plan. Got my dipping dots. <laughs> Ice cream dots. Got the, uh, I forgot it's called, rainbow. Ice? Not sure what it's called, but yeah. It's like frozen fruity pebbles. <laughs> if you like frozen fruity pebbles. All right, I cave in, guys. I cave in, I had to try it. I'm in the old Hammerhead location now. It's a little picnic area. And uh, well, I got the chili rolando, so check it out. Chili rolando, so I added a salsa on top of it. Cheese, sour cream, and uh, some lime. They have other toppings too, but uh, this is what I went with. But it's basically a pepper with cheese. Not sure what's inside, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up. I wish I had a magnet so I can uh, put this phone to my head and I can record, but unfortunately, uh, I don't have a magnet with me. All right, compared to what I had in Disneyland, if you guys saw that video a while back, about a year ago, almost the same. <laughs> Just I wish it was more burrito form, but uh, yeah, it looks like the pepper's been there for a while, but. It doesn't look bad. I like the cheese. We're gonna try a few bites and then uh, check it out. All right, well, second bite I took into it <clears throat> and I bit into the stem. That's not, that should not be in the in the food. <laughs> but other than that, it's uh, it's not bad. It's okay. It's a little, it's a, it's a little on the soft side. Yeah, so it's definitely cheesy. I'd give it that, that's a lot of a lot of cheese in there. 
mozzarella cheese, I think it is, right? I think it's mozzarella. But, yeah. The cheese definitely is good. <laughs> Can't beat that. That is good. Reminds me of the same cheese they put in the uh, Korean corn dog. Could be, but no, it's good. <laughs> Not bad. It's actually, uh, this was uh, after taxes, like $12. So uh, I had to pay an additional, actually 11, 11 something. I had to pay additional uh, cost for this. It's not part of the meal plan, and you don't get a uh, discount using your season pass. So it's all part of this yet separate uh, event here. If you do have your punch card, this is considered one of the punches. So definitely recommend using one of your punches for that. Um, the tacos, I did not know to use all three of my punches when I got it. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, I thought maybe at least two because it was $19.99, and the average price of the food here is $9.99, around $10 per item. So, if anything, maybe two punches, but uh, it's three, so, so, oh well, but um, I am satisfied, though. It is not bad. Uh, three tacos, uh, burrito, um, empanada, and uh, that hot dog thing, I can't pronounce, but, <laughs> and a manganada. All of this for about $45. Um, if I were to buy the, all these individually, I added up probably about like 60 bucks so I saved about maybe 15 20 dollars altogether and everything so um, but yeah not bad not bad not bad enough event I definitely uh, I'd probably come back again next year for sure who knows maybe they might try something different and uh, you know yeah so yeah <laughs> all right so one thing I did not get is a drink that's not including a drink so I'm gonna buy a drink unfortunately but yeah if I had to give that chili rollerano rollerano <laughs> A rating, I would say about a 5.5 out of 10. The one in Disneyland, that, that was the last one I ever had. And that one was about a 9, I'd say an 8.8 .8 out of 10. It was really good. I think the whole burrito thing, inside of a burrito with rice and everything, and all that, it's a lot better form than the one they had here. So, But hey, not bad, guys. You're trying it out, trying something new, give it that. Caramel macchiato. They don't have lids or straws, only for the frappuccinos. Seven dollars, and you can use your uh, season pass discount. But they do not take Starbucks bucks, so just heads up. <laughs> but not bad, caramel macchiato, and you can get light ice. All right, let's get out of this place. All right, what a freaking day this was. So full. I, don't, I got this for the long drive home. Or home? No, it's actually Santa Cruz. I'm going to Santa Cruz. It's about 3:30 right now. We'll be there about 4:35 o'clock check out a couple of things and uh, catch the fireworks show. So hope you guys see you in the next episode. I'll see you guys down there. Ghost train. <laughs> Must be doing test runs. <laughs> oh, holy moly. Watch out for falling kids. Well, because I'm not allowed to bring this onto the bus, it's like we're going to be doing a little stroll in, to the parking lot. <laughs> really quick, I don't know if you guys heard, but the staff, or whatever it is, that's called that, the city of San Francisco blocked London Breed's uh, idea of getting the panda to San Francisco. So no more panda, is, actually the panda rumor is on hold. So as of right now, 2025 is out the window for a panda in San Francisco. They all agreed, which makes perfectly sense, that that $25 million to get the pandas to San Francisco could go to, towards so much more other things than some pandas coming to the city, which we would, would love for sure. I mean, we'd love to see that, but the city of San Francisco needs so much more help in any other, so many other ways where that money can go. I mean, if you could think about just 25 million dollars just in the zoo alone what it could do I don't know but not something I thought about when this whole thing popped up but it makes sense so we'll see um, does not look good though as far as a panda coming to or two pandas <laughs> in the matter, in the, in the matter of fact <laughs> uh, coming to San Francisco so 
<sighs> oh well. One of you guys, guys. Anyways, guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys in Santa Cruz in the next video. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this today's video. If you guys like this kind of stuff, subscribe. And uh, yeah, follow along. And um, yeah, just hit 1,700 subscribers on the way to the parking lot. <laughs> so exciting, so exciting. But anyways, I love you guys all. And uh, yeah, my name's Eldon. This is Eldon Excursions. See you guys next one. Bye. Sorry, the video is not over yet. Just got confirmation. These are EV chargers going in. So Kevin, if you're watching, there you go, man. You got to get the end spots, unfortunately. I think they get taken up pretty quick. They might be dedicated for EV parking only when these are done. So yeah, EV parking coming to uh, Six Flags, Discovery Kingdom.